Hello everyone and welcome back to The Legend of Dragoon episode 6 right here on Missledyne Online. That's me, this is my channel, what's up? In the last episode, we went to Hoax, defended it from an Imperial attack including defeating Kongol, the Giganto, and we were introduced officially to Rose, the girl that saved us in the first episode, and Dart became a Dragoon. So a lot happened in the last episode, if you missed it, definitely check it out should be linked in the description or something i don't know maybe watch it in this episode we're heading into the marshland which will inevitably lead to volcano Villud, which also leads to where we need to go which is the dragon's nest so we have about three big dungeons ahead of us we're going to tackle the marshland today in this episode which actually is a very really small area but there is something that is optional that we are going to tackle. So if we look at this sign, left leads to Volcano Veludo. I don't know why it says that. Uh, straight leads to the seventh fort kingdom of Bashil. Uh, let's head to the kingdom of Bashil up here, the, the, seventh, the seventh fort, if you will. This is an entirely optional part, but I do recommend, oh geez, those crows are loud. I do recommend that you come over here because it really is uh, uh, a place that you wanna be. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there should actually be something, uh, maybe not over here. Anyways, uh, let's head this way. We can get into random encounters, but we can also get into something else right here, right up in, in once we're actually in the seventh fort. <laughs> That's right, it's under attack by the Imperial Sandora. It is entirely possible that you miss this entire thing. Uh, oh my God. We need to go help them out. Uh-oh. Oh, behind us. Are you from Brazil? I won't let you have your way. So you actually have a choice. You can fight or you can retreat. We ain't retreating. I won't let you have your way. We are brawling. So now we get to fight these guys all on our own. Uh, this is fine, this is great. Actually, here's the deal though. These Imperial Sandoras are different. These Sandora soldiers are different than ones we have encountered before. Not only do they do more damage, as you can tell, uh, but they are also, they have different, there's different types. So this is a fire uh, element one. The fire element one has 55 health, should die pretty quickly. The other one though is water. Uh, not it does a little bit more damage and by a little bit. I mean a lot more It's also weaker to magic, but it has 66 health So we're actually gonna focus on the water one just so that uh, we can prevent him from doing as much damage as possible I'm guessing it's a him. I don't know 45 damage coming out of dart. That's pretty nice. Watch how much damage this ends up doing to Rose 25 damage from just a random encounter. Not, not, uh, not something to be taken lightly, these, these water-based ones. 33 damage out of Lavitz, that is enough to take him down. And let's get a good old-fashioned whip smack out of Rose here for 40 damage on the Sandora soldier that is fire element. Remember, if you're ever confused about maybe what the element of the enemy you're fighting is, the, the color that their name is displayed in, that's 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 usually their element. You can you can pretty much tell. Look at that. Easy peasy our first fight is gone. This is a really 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 good place guys to come to. Uh, not only is the experience actually pretty decent, uh, but just the additions and the SP that you can get from coming here is is well, well worth it. Uh, I'm expecting that we'll probably leave here at Dragoon level 2. We took him down next. Oh, you bastard. Get out of my way. Let's reposition ourselves. So after every fight, you can chill and, 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 and go back. Five consecutive battles, though. That's what we need to do. Five consecutive battles. But let's keep on moving. We're going to crush these. We're against two more Sandora soldiers. Trust me, guys. This is, this is sincerely worth it. Uh, water and uh, fire-based ones. Whip smack. Now, th these fights are kind of weird, and uh, I'm not going to show all of them just because they are against uh, the same enemies over and over. So, uh, we'll just go ahead and, and, and skip. Here we go. We got another one that took down one of the Knights of Basil. I won't let you leave alive. Is that so? Let's fight again. We're going to take him out. No problemo. And we have just a couple more battles here and then we we're clearing the seventh fort 
Looks like we have another one that took down the Knight of Basile. I'll chop you up. Bring it, my dude. Make my day, Dart says. What a man. Now, in that last battle that I did, uh, I actually got hit twice by Spear Frost from one of the water elementals, or uh, water soldiers. He used it twice in a row on Dart, which did 69 damage each time, uh, meaning he has 66 health right now. It is entirely possible that I could lose Dart, uh, but what I'm gonna do instead, this is gonna be crazy, is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm actually gonna use a healing potion on Dart. I don't really like to use items that much, but at this rate, we're gonna we're gonna need it. So Dart's gonna come in here with uh, with a volcano. It is very very important that Dart and Rose, especially that those two are doing their additions and doing them correctly because they need that SP. That SP is so 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 important for them. So uh, I'm actually I shouldn't have used uh, Rose to heal. I'm going to use Lavitz to heal because his additions aren't super important yet, right? It's not really that important that we learn them. Not yet, anyways. We need to focus. We need to focus on the people that are gaining not only the addition experience but also the SP because getting those dragoon levels up is just gonna—it's just the bee's knees. As I completely miss. There we go. Whew. that was a little scary there for a minute. They hit me again twice in a row with that spear for us. It's so strong. Rose leveled up. She is now level 9, and she learned a new magic, Death Dimension. Ah, she did not level up. Her Dragoon level is already level 2, so she learned Death Dimension. I was confused for a minute. I was like, why is she learning a magic if she hit level 9? Uh, my bad. My microphone's in my face. Get over it. All right, we have our final fight against an in, in a Sandora soldier here. I will stop them by myself. I won't let them. Are you actually gonna do that though, dude? Are you? Are you actually going to? Okay, we've officially defeated the scripted battles uh, here. We took them down. Is there more? Oh, yes, there is. This, my friends, I won't let you go any further. Is that all? We are going against a Sandora commander, element being darkness. Health, 132 with 100% chance to drop something called an attack ball. Pretty cool. Let's see if we can take him down. Not only does he do we have to face a commander. This is very reminiscent of another fight that we've done uh, back in the day. Uh, he is darkness-based. He is, he is darkness-based. Now, I actually want to do something a little crazy here. Uh, I'm going to sink some points into the commander. Yes! on this attack, which of course he's naturally going to try to counter because... Oh no, I missed a volcano! Oh god, I stink. Uh, all right, more. We're gonna go into Lavitz here. You guys, you guys are about to see what I'm up to. Give me a second, give me a second. Come on, come on. 12 damage, all right. Let's see how much damage. 18 damage from the commander. That's nothing, my dude. We, my friends, are going to use Rose, her dragoon form, for the first time ever. Enjoy this transformation. It is. Mm. Gosh, she looks so cool. She looks absolutely incredible and we are going to use so she has astral drain which is very very powerful but she also has death dimension let's go ahead and use that we just got it let's see how beautiful death dimension is Oh, so good. Ready, ready, ready? Gone. So cool! So cool. And that caused the status ailment fear on them. But that's all she gets for a turn because she used uh, level 2 magic. Immediately attacking Rose for a 12. They probably realize, you know, she's really strong. We should we should focus on her. This is not going to be good, my friends. I, uh, oh. Well, <clears throat> that, uh, that got us a little knocked out. 13 damage on, on, a, on a dart. That's okay. He'll get up and break that because he was attacked. Beautiful. Thank you. 
and uh, let's go in and finish off some of these soldiers just to lessen some of the damage that we're taking. 80 damage with that because of the fear. Oh my. The uh, fear will make their defense drop a lot and then we can focus on actually doing a tremendous amount of damage. Uh, I'm actually gonna use Lavitz here to focus down this soldier. Watch, watch, watch. 52, oh. So much damage. See, oh, well, I guess Dart's down again. I wanted to use Dart uh, to, to finish off the commander, but that's okay, we'll use Rose. It's just that I want Dart to learn level two and down goes the commander. Perfect, 132 health on that guy, and it really didn't feel like that. And we get the attack ball, 45 experience. Shayna did in fact level up because she is also earning experience, even though she is not in the party. I wonder if inside the fortress is safe. Maybe, but let's actually back up a little bit. Let's back up, let's grab this chest. This is going to contain a Sun Rhapsody which is uh, awesome. That actually restores our MP, which is something that is, uh, now that we can turn into dragoons, it's a really good time to start collecting those weapons. Or those items, I should say. Oh my god. Oh, there's still somebody left. Okay, we need to help that guy, but first, we need to open all of the chests that we can. Another sun of Raf City for us. And then we have another item over here that we can grab, which contains a healing potion. And then right here, in such a place, the only stardust that you can find here in the marshland. That's it. That's like the main reason you want to come here, guys, is so that you can get that item. Look at all the dead soldiers. Hang on, we beat the Sandoras. Ugh, uh, Sir Lavins. Watch out for the dragon's breath. And we get the only other War Gods amulet in the entire game. There's only two, and we now have them both. We will wreck your revenge upon them. Damn. There are no injuries. Is that poison? He looks the same age as me. Cannot carry any more items. There is no ally or enemy for the dead. Please rest in peace. Wow, that's that's a big deal. Let's uh let's use some healing potions, guys. That's actually mostly just so that I can uh, uh have room to pick this up. Uh, a spirit potion, perfect. Gnarly. I love getting spirit potions. Now we want to head over here because we saw that there was another another map area. And that will take us out to the. Oh, my bad. We have a three new enemies here. No more soldiers, we beat those all. Now we are dealing with a merman and two myconid, my, my, my conidos, my conidos, I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna focus on the uh, merman who is water-based, has 48 HP. Let's see how uh, she does, 40. So she almost take him out in one hit, which is really, really nice. These my conidos have 36 health uh, and basically do no damage and they are earth elemental as well. We can take them out pretty easily. Uh, as for items that these guys drop, the mic, oops, my bad. The mic needs drop, uh, can drop body purifiers, and the merman, mermans can drop uh, spears. So keep that in mind uh, if that's if that's something you're looking for. If you're for whatever reason trying to get those items, you can farm them up, I guess. Yep, Rose can take out a Mykonito in one hit, which is pretty nice. And we'll, of course, have Dart finish him off as well. Now, Dart has to be close to Dragoon level 2, so I'm gonna keep... I'm gonna basically keep doing it until he gets it at some point here in the marshland. 37 experience points from those. That's not bad at all. Okay, but the real reason that we want to come out here is not so that we can fight uh, a merman and some mushrooms. No, 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 no. We want to grab this chest... Oh, this chest right here, which contains a lance... For our dear friend, Lavitz. I believe that is the first item that we've gotten for him. Uh, that he can equip his first... Look at... And look at the... Look at... Look at... Weapon uh, with a spear, 14. With a lance, 19. 40, bringing him up from 
31 total damage to 46. You are now going to see him do a tremendous amount of physical damage every single time that he attacks. Uh, that Lance is, is such such a, a, a powerful upgrade at this point in the game. Now, once you're satisfied, you've got your Stardust and all of the items that you can get here in the Seventh Fort that has been attacked not only by the Sandora, but also by Fairbrand himself, the the Green dra green Tusk Dragon. Uh, we can now leave. We've got all the items that we can get. We have the Stardust. Uh, we have the Lance, which is ideally the reason why you come here is because of the Stardust and the Lance. Uh, now we can leave. That's it. We're, we're done here. Um, this Oh, come on. Moving on, what's really nice is our dear friend Labitz is actually about 10 away, 10 editions away from being able to switch to one of his newer ones, uh, Rod Typhoon, for instance, which is really, really nice for us. Uh, a whole new edition that we have to learn, uh-oh, on one of the characters that I'm, of course, the worst at it. So now we want to head uh, back towards the beginning of the mar- oh, jeez, Louise. Anyways, like I was saying, we want to head back out here. There's no reason to come over on this branch, by the way. I just wanted to show that there is no reason to go over there. We can go over here and, and, and look at the bunny, uh, but that's it. All right, let's continue all the way around. This is such a weird, like, root thing, but you got to loop around. It's weird. Ah, here we go. Another enemy that we have not seen yet. This, of course, is the Sea Dragon. 33 health, so very, very easy. Uh, fire. It, it is it is fire elemental. This is the first time we've seen that. It is possible that this enemy can drop a burnout uh, in case that you need to get some attack magics for whatever reason. Although something tells me we're not going to need burnouts in Volcano Village. Nice. Easy peasy. Sea dragons look really cool uh, in my humble opinion. Also, Dart is very, very close to leveling up, which is going to be beautiful. Back on the map, we want to go all the way over here. Uh, you can see that there's like, it's such a weird area because it almost looks like there's things you can do and like, but you can't. So we'll continue all the way back up here. I feel like there should be items and stuff, but oh, well, let's read the sign, of course. Straight Volcano Villude, right Town of Hoax, right rear, hello, the seventh fort, Kingdom of Bajil. Uh, so let's go ahead and use the boat to go this way. Hmm, let's, uh, why don't we, why don't we move down? Why don't we get off the boat here? And then we can run up here and grab an item which will contain a burnout. Oh my. And then we can use this and I actually wanna go down another another one, uh, which will allow us to grab this chest. Uh, let's get off the boat. I love how it's like moved to the left, but you don't really, oh geez, you don't really need to. You know, what's nice at this point in the game is that uh, most of my party is one-shotting their foe. Uh, which is super cool. Ready? I think we're about to see our friend get level 9. Go dart, dude. Levels are such a big deal in this game. Every single time you advance, even one, uh, it's pretty tremendous the difference that it makes. Right there, we got a body purifier out of that bottommost chest. Now we actually want to move to the left, to the left. Everything you own in a box to the... Never mind. Ignore these fish that keep jumping in and out of the water. They're just, they're just there. Don't worry about them. I don't even know if you would count that. What? It doesn't matter. Uh, now we're going to get off here at this really strange looking route. It almost, to me, looks like a brain, right? I don't know. It looks like a brain of some kind. Can't carry any more items, naturally. Let's go ahead and use a healing potion there just to get rid of it. Uh, and there we grabbed a magic stone of signet. What does that mean? I wonder. Let's go ahead and look at our items. Uh, this is actually isn't what I want to... I wanted to look at list. Thank you very much. Uh, used item. Let's see. We got total vanishings. Blocks enemies move for three turns. This, my friends, is our first repeat item. We can use this an infinite amount of times, and it never goes away. Which is pretty cool. Blocks enemies move for three turns. That can be pretty strong if used in the right strategy. Just telling you right now. Ah, here we go. Crocodiles for the first time ever. We got crocs. 
So these guys have 33 health and they are water elementals. Uh, I wouldn't worry about them. They do have a chance to uh, drop a pellet, uh, which is another thing that you can get. 26, they're, oh, their defense is ridiculously high, uh, by the way, at a whopping 160. So it looks like we're not gonna be able to beat these in one. Ooh, that is, that is rather unfortunate for our, our team here. And they give 17 experience each, which actually is the highest experience in this entire area, 17. Only the commander gave that much experience on defeat. But there we go, we'll beat them. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And we did end up getting an attack magic pellet, which is nice. Uh, we are going to, we are going to use that, uh, or we're going to get that. We're actually going to get rid of a healing potion. Uh, oh, hang on. Yes, there we go. So I want to talk a little bit more about the magic stone of signet that we got. So not only is that a one of a kind repeat item, uh, this is the only place where it exists in the entire game. Uh, we also got a stun guard, which is an accessory that we can use. And speaking of stun, the magic stone of signet has the exact same uh, status ailment as stun. It, it basically works as that. Uh, it remains active though, even if the monster is attacked, which makes it even better than the stun ailment. Uh, definitely, definitely a, a decent item to use. Uh, it can't be used on bosses or anything like that, so keep that in mind, but it's still pretty strong if you're facing uh, maybe a team of really strong enemies and you want one of them out of the fight for a little while. It, it can be useful. It can be very, very useful, especially if it's one that counterattacks or does anything like that. So now we want to continue moving back up. Uh, let's go ahead and move up. And uh, let's actually move, um, let's get off the boat here. Because if I'm not mistaken, there is an item right here that we could get that we didn't get earlier. Oh my geez. We're at the point of the game, guys, where we are needing to sell some stuff. Uh, these healing potions aren't really useful, so we're going to get rid of those whenever we can. Uh, but we can go ahead and grab this, which is a sp another spirit potion, and then we can, oh geez. As I was saying, we want to go back to the boat and go to the right, which is the original path. So everything pretty much in the marshlands, it's so weird. If you really wanted to, you could do the marshlands in like a minute. You literally just run through and you're good. So we want to run out this way and, oh! Shana, are you okay? What just, what's wrong, Shana? I'm fine, fine. My foot was stuck in the mud, that's all. See? Oh no. Did you twist your ankle? It's nothing. You can't stand up, can you? Come on, I'll give you a piggyback ride. But it's embarrassing. What are you talking about? I used to give you piggyback rides when you were little, remember? <laughs> Did you see Rose? Rose was like disappointed. Lavitz is looking away like this is awkward. Uh-huh, thanks. And we give the love of our life a piggyback ride. I'm such trouble, aren't I? I don't think so. I guess I should have stayed in hoax. Are you serious? No, it's not. S I guess I had a bit of a weak moment. You know what? I have more confidence now. I can fight to he help everybody. I'm not a drag on others, but I still can't fight like Rose. Shayna, you have something only you can do, right? You don't need to pretend to be strong. Besides, you can rely on me more, like in the old days. Dart, is Shayna all right? I'm okay now. Well, that was a nice little moment between us two. It literally just brought us like 10, watch, I'm gonna show you, watch Watch how far we just walked in that piggyback ride. The pain is gone. Wow, that is a fast healing, wow. From a twisted ankle, she sure did heal that fast. Watch, watch, if we go back, look how, look how far we walked during that little bit, like 10 feet. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we want to move back up here. There's nothing on the screen whatsoever that we can get because we already went onto the plant brain thing there. Uh, we want to head all the way up here. And that that leads us out. We're still in the north of Sertio. We are heading over here. 
to Volcano Villude in the next episode, of course. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this series. Uh, December has been a very, very busy month. Uh, for me, and we also had some technical difficulties on some episodes here and there, uh, but those issues have been solved, and we are we are we are good. Uh, we are we are healthy. We we can move on. So these videos uh, should be coming out at a decent pace. I am on break until January third. If you are watching this when it goes live, so you might not. Uh, there might be a little bit of a, a, a delay in the next episode, but not too bad. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope that you are enjoying the series as much as I am for, for recording it and everything. I love this game. It means a lot to me. Um, if you guys want to support the channel whatsoever, head on over to patreon.com slash online For a dollar a month, you can get early access to these videos about a week early. Uh, if, if you are really digging the series and you want to help support the channel and also, you know, whatever. Uh, there's different tiers over on Patreon. Check it out. Again, thank you for watching, and remember, never give up, never surrender to the Imperial Sandora. <laughs>